Hi, and welcome to this review. The Sarept CS Reversible Carry System in Steel Blue and Frost. This is the 12 litre pack by SOG, which is the Studies and Observation Group. I received this along with a few other items from SOG in the US a few weeks ago. Um, I came across them by accident and I hadn't seen any reviews um, but they seem to be highly rated on Cariology, so I decided to pick up some of the products and uh, do some reviews. So I picked up the 24 litre backpack, this 12 litre reversible carry system and one of their pouches. So this is designed to work on its own or in conjunction with travel packs like the 24 or 36 litre backpacks and it functions essentially as a drop and go bag according to the SOG website. 12 litres of storage so there's room for your laptop and a few daily carry items. It's made of 4200 nylon ripstop material and according to the website it weighs 15.2 ounces. It has a length of 16 and a half inches, a width of 10 and a half inches and a thickness of 5 inches. This particular item's main colour is steel with frost highlights. There's also another colour available on the website. Uh, as of the date of this review, it retails on their website for $82.95. So what first grabbed my attention when I first got it was the material. I kind of love this 4200 nylon ripstop material. It's waterproof and um, the quality is really, really nice. It's well stitched. Um, it looks really nice, it feels really nice, it feels solid for what it is. Like I said, it's only really a 12 litre pouch, uh, sorry, a 12 litre backpack, uh, and it is designed for a laptop, maybe an iPad, a notebook, and a few other staple items. But it isn't really designed for any heavy carry of any description, as you'll see when I look at the backpack um, straps. They're very very thin and not particularly well padded but as I say you know this is this is a bag that you can pop in a suitcase or in a bigger pack and use then take out and use as a daily carry. So there's only one pocket on the front which is kind of flush with with the bag itself. These are all YKK zippers by the way and inside you have uh, some organization a little bit of organization you've got I don't know if you can see you've got three pen pockets here and then you have a zip organization area here this is just a small this is just a small pocket for you to put just general items in and then obviously the rest of the organization pocket at the front is just a free storage if you like um, again, I found with this bag and having tested it for the last 10 days that you don't want to pack too much in the front of the bag because it all then sticks out and then kind of just kind of plays the aesthetic of the bag. It's designed to be kind of smallish with a, you know, kind of like a rectangular form factor and if you start putting too much in the front then it kind of pushes it out and it looks unwieldy. On the back of the bag, sorry, on the side of the bag, you've got a carry handle uh, and you can carry it like a, a briefcase, but I would say that this is a very thin carry handle. Again, it's only 12 litres, so it's not designed for a huge amount of stuff inside the bag. So this this won't be uh, as tough as you think it might be, but it's a nice idea that you can carry it like a little uh, briefcase instead of using you the, uh, the backpack straps. But coming round to the backpack straps, um, again, they are... They're nicely made and they have some mesh on the bottom so that will take away maybe some of the moisture from from your back and your shoulders but they are very thin they're not very well padded and as i say they're not really designed for any length of time carry so you know and 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 if you've only got a few items in here it, what i i really just had a a, a laptop um 
an iPad, a notebook and a couple of other items and I found that that was absolutely fine. That was good enough for my daily carry that I needed and it wasn't uncomfortable. It actually was quite comfortable. Uh, I, you know, it wasn't packed out so um, there isn't any support on the back here either. This is just the, the back of the um, laptop storage pocket on the inside. Um, there's no channels, there's no mesh, nothing to take away any moisture. But then having said that, um, you wouldn't probably wouldn't be wearing it for, for long, long periods of time. So it, it doesn't need to have any more than it has already. So uh, all these are YKK zippers. The main compartment is accessed by this zipper which goes almost all the way around and it opens up flat which is nice and also bearing in mind that this pack is also reversible so on the right hand side here you have a laptop storage pocket and it takes my 13 inch macbook pro um, quite easily and nicely it also um, i can also put my uh, 12 inch ipad in here as well uh, and it and it sits really really nicely in there it's not a major padding but it's not designed to be it will it will i think protect your your laptop to a certain extent as long as you don't throw the bag across the room perhaps but uh it's nice to have that there that's dedicated as a laptop or ipad pocket on the other side nothing as you can see um because it's reversible it does have an additional strap uh, which you can see here. So if you were to turn it inside out, and then that would mean that you would have the the laptop. Um, you'd have this laptop compartment on the outside. Straps on the inside, and then you could carry it like a like a briefcase. It's got two handles. Um, again, they're not super strong handles but then they don't need to be as you won't be carrying that much in a 12 litre pack so that's it turned inside out but if you want to carry it using the laptop straps uh, sorry the backpack straps then you can turn it back inside this way you've got the SOG label at the top here just telling you um, about the bag, where it's made. You've actually got a um, hook here which you can use to maybe hook your keys onto on the inside of the on the inside of the bag. Remembering that there's no organisational storage on that side. You just kind of put your notebook and stuff in it. But then, if you do the zip up like this, I kind of like to access the bag that way with the zips kind of half. Sometimes I do find when I zip up the bag this interior handle gets in the way of the zip so you have to make sure that that is securely on the inside before you bring the zip around. It can be a little bit annoying because if you're in a hurry really do it in a hurry it keeps getting caught so there might have been a maybe should have been a different way of sewing that on there so that it kind of either could be tucked away into its own little area maybe just below the the laptop compartments or you know put in in a slightly different way because like I said it does get in the way sometimes of the of the uh, of the zip which is going to be the other thing I, I would say as well is that um, if you are going to use this as a kind of day pack, be aware that it doesn't have an aqua seal or water water seal, water guard um, on the zip like the actual 24 litre and 36 litre backpacks do. They, they have aqua guard zips. Um, and that's slightly annoying because if you are going to use this as a, a day pack, I, I don't know whether that would be as waterproof as I would like it to be. Um, I think it's fine if you're going to use this as a carry, you know, a carry system within the backpacks. So if it stays in the backpacks or in your suitcase, then that's that's fine. But if you are going to take it out and use it as a as a daily carry, then I don't think you've got the 
absolute waterproof element um, as you would like. Um, so that's the only thing to to look out for. Again, they are YKK zips and they travel all around the pack and as I say, it opens up in a clamshell way. The These also are two-way locking zippers so they're designed to keep your items secure. Uh, but given that it's only 12 litres, uh, 12 litres, I, I wouldn't think you'd want to carry much more than a few items including your, your laptop. So overall, I, I really like this pack. I think it's um, I think it's it's really well made. It's well stitched. Um, it's good for what it is. Like I said, it's twelve liters. It's got its own independent laptop storage compartment. The downside is that the carry straps are thin and they're not very well padded. Um, they do have some mesh on the back of them, but the actual back of the backpack is just simply this material it there is no channels or mesh or anything um but again since it's not actually going to be used for any heavy um carry items you know there's no need to have extra thick straps on the back um as i say they they're well made they're well stitched they have seams uh, and they're not uncomfortable. It's not uncomfortable to wear. I've been trialing this for about ten, ten days and, and off your shoulder or on your back with a few items in there, including a laptop or an iPad and a notebook. It's not uncomfortable at all. There's no sternum strap either, but then you wouldn't need that for, I don't think, for a 12 litre backpack. But um, uh, I do I do love the idea that you can utilise this in any way that you need to, in, in you know, in addition to your 24 or 36 litre pack if you've got one of those from Sarab. So I do have a 24 litre pack review coming up um, in the next video and then you'll probably be able to see and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of be using this to show you what how the 36 litre pack is and how it can adapt to, to this carry system. Uh, but thank you very much for watching.